Well, hello, everybody. Welcome back to Best Life and Beyond. We're back at the Disneyland Resort, more specifically downtown Disney, and it's the holidays. Yes, it is. So we are going to share with you how to have a good time, some fun things that you can do from the decorations, the food, the shopping. There's tons of stuff to do here at the district, including the Disneyland Resort hotels. We're yes. going to share all of that with you. We're just gonna have a good time, especially when the parks are crowded, ticket prices can be high. All of these things can be done without a park reservation or a park ticket. And before we get into this, make sure and subscribe to Best Life and Beyond. Hit that notification bell. It's free. We'd love to have you. So we parked in the Mickey and Friends structure and we took the tram in to downtown Disney and we start here at the Poppy Fountain. And look, there's a tree right there. It's Our a first, one. first Christmas tree. It's a little tilted. <laughs> Maybe the wind was blowing the other day, I don't know. Uh, but these are probably scattered about the resort. We'll see these throughout our journey today, as well as uh, if it gets a little darker, uh, we might see this stuff light up, especially those snowflakes up there. Those will light up. Those will look really cool. Uh, but yeah, the first tree, silver. And then directly across from the Fountain La Brea Bakery, one of our favorite spots. They have a little gingerbread display we're going to go check out. Oh, yeah. And there's the window. Look at that. We've got some nutcrackers and some ornaments protecting all the bread products. Good job, fellas. Keep a watchful eye. And as you walk in, this is what we really wanted to show you. Look! Look at how cool this little village is. We're complete nuts. with Santa. Look, he's flying around. Isn't that cool? He's making his way around the village, complete with a little train track and everything. Look at this. That it's is so, so cool. cool. I love this part, though. We're nuts. That's funny. Got a little ice skating rink happening. Right. That deer is wearing a hat. Oh, uh, he's got it. Got a little carousel back there. Is that King Arthur's carousel back there, Katie? <laughs> I think There's so. There's a lot going on with this little village. I mean, look at this. Isn't it great? Is that not cool? Oh, there's the coffee shack. Can we go to the coffee shack? Yeah, seriously. I need a coffee. It's just really cool, and uh, it's worth checking out. Santa is it's getting his practice in. Little practice runs for the big night. Look at that. They're even doing a little barbecuing on the deck right there. So next, what we're going to do is walk through World of Disney. World of Disney, you have to say it right, Katie. Well, the greatest part about World of Disney is we say this a lot, but it needs to be said. Almost everything that you can find in the park can be found merchandise-wise at World of Disney. That and is true. It, yeah, if you're a Magic Key holder, you can still get your discount in World of Disney. Say it right. World, World of Disney. Disney. All right, let's make our way into World of Disney. All Look right. at the Christmas trees. Oh, it looks and the so decor, pretty. we haven't even been in here no. in so long. Look at this. Wow, Tim, you've done good with the place. You and your fellow wadsters. <laughs> Gifts with Disney magic. Look at the display. I like that shirt right there. That, That's that, a nice one. That person's wearing. That looks cool. Look at all this stuff to purchase for the holidays. Are you seeing any gifts for anybody? This is cool. I think I saw this before. Uh, kind of retro. I like it. Hey, there's the jacket I'm wearing right there. They still have it, you guys. There it and is. And this version, too. Um, but yeah. We're just going to do a really brief walkthrough. Broad strokes. We're not going to do a very big merch search because we have a lot to do. Right. This isn't technically a merch search. This is a... We just want to show you an idea of what's in here, what the decor looks like. And exactly. also the fact that if you have the free Disneyland app, you can do a merchandise mobile checkout. Yes. So if those lines get long, scan them on your phone. And if you have a magic key or an annual pass, if you will, it'll still apply that discount. So uh, without further ado, let's go. They've got a ton of t-shirts available. This is kind of a new thing. I keep seeing this kind of Austin Powers vibe here, <laughs> right? I like it. There's even ears to match, so it's, I don't know what they would call that, but I'm calling it the Austin Powers line. Some other stuff that's kind of like this new school, like I'm calling this the Trinitron line. I mean, look at that, how it messes with the camera. I got this beanie that kind of goes with it too. It's all sorts oh God, of kind of weird, uh, 90s, 80s vibes going on with this stuff. The art of skiing. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Goofy. Uh, that is. <laughs> that's pretty cool, right? I don't know what to say. Yeah, it's it's a little chaotic, but at the same time, I'm intrigued by it. And a hat that goes yeah, with it. Yeah, there's a bucket hat. There should be a beanie because it's skiing, but and okay. it's reversible. Oh, that's cool. And then they have a sweatshirt. This is like fishing. Now, I like this. This is more applicable to real life. And look, there's the fish on the on the sleeve. He looks terrified. So basically there's a whole goofy line that's happening. Look at this. Yeah, it's kind of goofy. That, wow, really? They also have this one. That's cool. And of course the Senate room is engulfed with Christmas. Look at this. If you really want to get some 
some Disney Christmas gear or uh, presents, this is the spot to come to. It's all in one place. It even smells like gingerbread in here. Dude, look at this cool Rapunzel Tower play set. The tower, the tower, Rapunzel, <laughs> tangled. I'm gonna get that for Kaylee. Yeah. Um, so another thing that's cool though, around this time of year, it's the only time that World of Disney will have those like big bulk like play sets for the holiday season. So this is the place to get them. It's hard to even find them in the park, honestly. And then all the way to the Starbucks room that I call it, because uh, it's by Starbucks. Look at this. Looks really good. And look at all the Christmas housewares they got going. I'm drawn to the trees. All this stuff. All the ceramics. There you go. As we leave the last yet festive room of World of Disney, we head back out. In search of more holiday fun. Yes. love these trees. Oh, let's these go check out those trees favorite. over there. Wow, just look at that tree. I love it because it's kind of a combination of all the surrounding trees. It's got like bits and pieces of every color in there. It's just beautiful and it's beautiful now, but it's even prettier too when it lights up at night. And of course, the one and only, the last surviving Starbucks of downtown Disney, very popular this time of year. They've got all those holiday cups and all those great drinks so that you can enjoy a little pick-me-up as you make your way through the resort. And uh, we got Sunglass Icon. And then next to that is Curl Surf. Kind of surfwear. I think it used to be a rip curl shop, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, but they have a cool window display. Look at that. Boxes that create a tree. And Santa's, uh, Santa's surfboard. What is this, Katie? Holidays still colliding here at Pandora? What, what are you guys doing? It's Spider-Man. With the spider web, I'm confused. Oh, it's Spider-Man. Okay, I thought it was a Halloween leftover. Had me fooled. All right. Uh, Jamba Juice. They're just, they're just in Jamba mode. It's fine. Uh, but look, there's more trees. Oh, yeah. Over here as we uh, approach Salt and Straw. You can smell it from here. Yes, you can. And uh, they also have Napolini, which we oh, should Oh, yeah, we probably, love Napolini. We should probably get a little something to eat first. That's a good idea. And when you want a slice, you come to Napolini Pizzeria. It's the same as Naples. It's just little Naples, Napolini. After we eat these pizzas, we're going to go check out the seasonal flavors over at Salt and Straw. Oh, really? And then Marceline's to show you all of the goodies that you can find in the park. Find them in downtown Disney. All right, two margarita pizzas, 12 bucks a piece before our discount because our uh, discount does apply here. And uh, yeah, we're going to tear these up. So good. Mm. Delish. After any good meal, it's good to come to Salt and Straw. What did you get? Is that one of the holiday flavors? This is one of the holiday flavors. I. Um, in case I didn't like it, I did a half and half scoop. Oh, there's something else a, under there. Yeah, you do a single scoop and then you split it. Okay. Um, I tried the peppermint cocoa, which is one of the holiday flavors, and then I had to go with the old standby caramel ribbons, which is not a holiday flavor. I was flavor. gonna say. I'm gonna read to you the flavors that they have. Oh yeah. They have almond brittle with salted ganache. Good enough. Duanta's Terramina Spiked Eggnog. That's Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Peppermint Cocoa, as you see here. Gingerbread Cookie Dough. The Great Cookie Swap, which is a vegan option. Very delicious. Just past Blitzville by Tortilla Joe's down at the end there, there is a really cool photo op for the Santa Clauses. But it's kind of a cool little Christmas card type of photo down there that you could get, complete with lamp posts and trees. It's pretty amazing. Okay, we've made our way over to Marceline's Confectionery, the home of all the treats, pretty much all of them that you can get in the Disneyland Park, are right here. And you can even watch them make this stuff in the window. Look, she's making a caramel apple with a snowflake on it. And then you can head inside. We're just gonna browse. Yeah, we're gonna browse. Yeah, <laughs> all right. Stomach's a bit full. All right, let's look. And yes, it's a very popular spot. Have a nice display right up front here. So just make sure when you come in, you take a number because you can get anything in the case. Once they call your number, it does get a little busy in there. But look at all the goodies. It's a great place to get uh, all of your holiday treats that you could get normally inside of Disneyland. And now we are going to journey into the Grand Californian right across from Salt and Straw. You can head right in there so we can see the big Christmas tree and the gingerbread house and all the treats. Okay, we've entered the lobby of the Grand Californian Hotel and look at that tree. She's always, beautiful. always stunning every year. Oh yeah. 
it's one of those things that never gets old. You come in here and you go, wow, because first of all, this lobby is amazing. Yeah. And it's a giant tree. I mean, I dare say it's the second largest tree in the resort. I think this is bigger than the DCA one or maybe well, the close same height. To it, yeah. yeah. But it is so cool. And the lighting, the lighting works right here. It's not like obtrusive, it's very subtle. And the garland uh, surrounding kind of matches. It's so great. It's definitely worth a look. And every once in a while, look at this, from 4 till 9.15 p.m., Santa will be visiting frequently. Story time at 7 Story time at 7. Look at that. Look at Mickey driving the truck. You see that? Yeah. Hidden Mickey, hidden Pluto. My guess is he probably sits right there. That looks like a Santa chair. It sure does. No one else dare sit there. And I love that there are pine cones on this tree, they look so good. As well as those sconces that light up, it's so perfect, it fits the style of this hotel. And you get to listen to the beautiful sounds of the piano, there's gifts next to it, and today we have one of the hitchhiking ghosts is playing the piano today, all the way from Disneyland, wowing us with his ivory excellence. And then there's that really cool wreath that's above the old fireplace, what a great place to come chill, especially this time of year, it's very cozy. And also in the lobby of the Grand Californian, they have a beautiful gingerbread house. It is massive, it's got tons of hidden Mickeys on there. It actually smells very delicious. I love that the front doors are actually the front doors of yeah. this hotel. It's the Grand Cal. It's the Grand Cal, and uh, yeah, it's got everybody searching for hidden Mickeys. I forget how many there are on this one. Uh, I can't remember. Quite it's a few. somewhere up there, but yeah, it's quite a few. And So it's a fun little game to play. Both sides, uh, by the way, Yeah, you have to go are in play. There's another side as well. There's even some sometimes that you can only see from the upper floors. Oh, like stuff on the roof. Yeah. yeah. Now, when you're standing here looking at this gingerbread house, Katie made a good point. You're going to get hungry. And the beauty of the positioning of this... You'll see this actual gingerbread Correct. Uh, you're going to want to have a bite and you can do that by going right over here. There's like a little coffee treat stand that they have in this side of the lobby where you can get treats. Actual gingerbread cookies yes. that look just one. Oh yeah, all sorts of good stuff here. It's so good and it's so worth it. Yeah, you can get like uh, boozy drinks, you can get yeah. uh, hot chocolate, Yeah. Um, tons of different cookies, loaves, like actual cookie shots with like chocolate milk or yes. whatever. So um, it's always really busy because the gingerbread cookies are go ahead and say the best gingerbread I've ever had. Top notch, especially when they're adjacent to this. Right. They have to live up to the gingerbread standard, which Katie uh, adheres to. Anyway, that's where that is in the Grand Cal lobby. Again, you don't have to have park admission to come in here. So no. this is kind of what we want to show you. If the parks are slammed, come on in the Grand. Take that from a member of the Gingerbread Board of Directors. By the way, there is a uh, caroling at various moments. Uh, with, with They have the bells and everything. Yeah, it's a 5.30, 6.30, 7.30, 8.30. 30. Yes, and they perform right in front of this gingerbread house, as I recall. So you can smell the gingerbread and be entertained. Hear the tunes. Yeah, and uh, relax in this lobby that is so wonderful and amazing. While you eat your gingerbread. That's right. All right, so that's what's happening at the Grand Cal. Now we're gonna head out over to the other hotel. I shouldn't say other. It's the Disneyland hotel. <laughs> and uh, we're going to go see what they got going for the holidays. All right. We're back in the district. Look, the lights are on, Katie. So pretty. Very festive. Oh, I love it. Candy canes are plenty. <laughs> oh, I like the green tree right there. Look at that. That's your favorite color, huh? It is. We've reached the downtown Disney live stage and uh, probably a performance coming up pretty soon. But it's pretty nice if you can catch some of that down here. It's always makes it really fun for the holiday. And then there is the official downtown Disney Christmas tree, Katie. I love it. That is awesome. It's another very tall tree. It's a very tall tree. Uh, a lot of blue tones. Very cool. I like the contrast with the ESPN building there. So pretty. Big star on top. Right on. And then look at this. All the uh, construction boards are all decorated for the holidays. I love that. I like how they've kept that up uh, consistently all year. They've decorated these for whatever's happening at the district. Hey, look at that. We got the strobes going on the hat. I know. They haven't had that going for a bit. I know. That's pretty cool. So this is the way we get to Disneyland Hotel. Just, just pass under 
the sorcerer's hat. Oh, it stopped now. We just oh, caught it. It did that because of you. <laughs> I, well, it got self-conscious. It was like, you know what? Spence is coming. To hit it. Hit turn it. Off, turn it off. Turn it off. <laughs> All right. We're headed in past Small World Gifts and Sundries. And then there is the, under there is the big interactive map. But right now it's Happy Holidays to the Disneyland Hotel. Look at this. Look at this cool mural. Trader yeah, Sam's right there. The monorail pool castle in the distance that is awesome and we always have to take a look at the old 60s christmas trees these mylar trees that are so awesome oh man i love them and they fit this lobby perfectly uh you know this hotel's all retro this is 50s 60s disneyland and it's the best now we got to go outside because look at this check out these lights which i think are so cool in these planters look at that i love that and then we've got the reverse Christmas trees coming out of the ceiling, which I always thought was a genius idea. And they leave these great spiral patterns on the ground all over here. And then look at this, just past Mickey and Minnie statue. There is a ton of those lights over here. Look at this, isn't that not cool? I see a mug I don't have. Uh-oh, look at these trees uh, know, that flank like... the Fantasia shop. They're pretty cool. How is that possible? Oh yeah, that's right, they have these like, holographic ones. What? Why don't we have those? I don't know, but I'm low-key obsessed those with them. Those are pretty amazing. Uh, On to yeah, the mug. Fantasia shop and a mug we haven't seen, really. Aww. What's this? This is cute. Candy corns. Oh, okay, cool. That's cute, but... Oh, it's a half mug. Yeah, for a cookie. Oh, no way! And it says Disneyland Hotel on it with the monorail. The that's ginger genius. Ale. Get the, it? the ginger ale. That's genius. Oh my See gosh. Yeah. That's kind of cool. Now, this little postmodern retro masterpiece over here is where Santa comes for the Disneyland Hotel uh, between 11 a.m. and 3.45 and story time at 2.30. A little bit earlier so he can make it over to the Grand. But look at this. It reminds me of the Brady Bunch house. It's so great. Uh, it goes along with the whole theme of this hotel. I mean, Look at this. This is like Katie's it. in her little retro living room. I know, isn't it great? I noticed, look at look at the Christmas tree. It's like the glass artwork of those of that era. Oh look oh Katie. All the goodies. Got some treats here. I made all of this. I want these. What are those? Make, uh, I got them for you. And then uh, the Christmas. background is just so cool. And it's almost, if you look here. Almost Mary Blair. Hidden Mickey right there, maybe? I don't know. Yeah, it's kind of a Mary Blair style. We got the fireplace and the retro tree. And uh, yeah, all this Brady goodness here at the hotel. Well, we sit here in our cozy abode. Yeah. Uh, you're probably wondering, why aren't you going over to Paradise slash Pixar Pier Hotel? Um, because there's really nothing open over there. Uh, there's some decorations that yeah. are cool, but nothing it's not worth going across the street but it's just not yeah so um yeah we uh we're gonna end this here we hope you enjoyed it uh we haven't been really to downtown disney in quite some time no we haven't uh or the hotel so it was nice to kind of cruise through and see what's going on for the holidays yeah i think it's really important because yeah. not a lot of people can get into the parks this time of year and you still need that you know disney magic and there is still more to come from downtown disney oh yeah we still got trader sam's we've got a lot to share with got you a for lot the to do so if you enjoyed this video you can let us know by giving it a thumbs up and don't forget, subscribe to our channel. That's right. Thanks to our Patreons. Thank you for watching. And we'll see you next time on Best Life and Beyond. Bye-bye, everybody. Yeah.